Okay, let's testing, testing, testing. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. So, in the title, I have why you should never listen to women, and um, it's pretty true. Okay, so a lot of you guys listen to women in the wrong circumstances. Now, I am not saying that you shouldn't pay attention to what women are saying when they're talking to you. You should. I mean, that's that's the polite thing to do. However, too many of you guys are taking what women say seriously and you're applying it to your own life, and you really shouldn't be doing that. So, there are two areas that I would say that guys. Uh, really take women what women say too seriously. Okay, and the first one is when she says she's into you, um, and then she does something else. Okay, and then the second one is when women are actually giving advice about what they want in a guy, uh, and guys take that literally. Okay, so you shouldn't trust what a woman says in these areas. You should go by what they do. And in fact, I would recommend this if you're a woman watching this video. You should never trust what a guy says. You should watch what he does also. Okay, that's a good rule for people in general. People lie all the time. Uh, and sometimes they do it when they're not even meaning to be like dishonest or, um, or untruthful to you. So uh, in this video, that's what I'm gonna be covering. I'm gonna be covering the, the types of situations to not listen to what a woman's saying um, and how to look for her actions. What actions should you look for that are actually gonna tell you um, uh, the truth? Okay, cool. So before I get into this, you guys, I've, I'm speaking tomorrow in Toronto, 6 p.m. at the Murata Hotel. If you want details to that, I'm going to put a link to the event, uh, the Facebook event down below. Uh, so far, we have like 20 people that are going to be attending or, or 15 people or something like that. So if you want a chance to meet me in person for free, get your questions answered, this is a great time to do it. Would love to see you. Okay, cool. So let's talk about uh, the two types of situations where... Uh, women say something, but they actually do something else. Okay, the first one is when the girl says she likes you. Okay, this is pretty typical. You'll get a lot of guys that are like, well, this girl says she wants to meet up. This girl says she likes me. This girl says she's attracted to me. And then the girl's not showing up on dates. She's constantly flaking. She's ghosting him, okay? You have to look at what a girl does in this situation. And if she's not meeting up with you, like if you try and make plans with this girl twice and she flakes, she comes up with an excuse, there better be a super good reason um, or she better be like really working with you to make that third date work or that third meetup work. Otherwise, I'd say move on, you know? In this, the two strikes rule, rule applies. You need to have respect for yourself and you need to realize that you holding on to her individual words, if she says she likes you or you know, if occasionally she responds to your messages, you're holding on to hope because you're in scarcity, okay? You don't have a whole lot of options. You don't have a whole lot of respect for yourself. And so what you're doing is you're holding on to this little glimmer of hope that this girl's gonna be into you and she's gonna go out with you. Again, you have to look at what she's doing and if she's not actually meeting up with you, then that's the sign that she's just not interested in you. Or who cares even if she is interested in you, okay? If she won't meet up with you, that's not the girl for you, man. Find a girl who will meet up with you. Me in my life, I don't have time to deal with all of that stuff. I don't have time to deal with mixed messages and all of those things, okay? I have a lot of options of women that I can date, and if a girl's doing that to me, I'm just gonna move on to a girl who won't do that to me, who is more my style and who is more like into me, or you know, maybe it's not even the fact that she's into me, maybe she just gets back to me. She's just kind of that person. She's more responsible, okay? I'm more into those girls, okay? And you should have the same respect for yourself too. Okay, I love being persistent, I love all that stuff, but if you try to make plans and she's not playing ball, go play ball with somebody else. Okay, now the second thing that guys look at a lot is um, they will look at the way a girl, um, they, they, they pay attention to a lot about what women say they want in a guy, okay? They'll, a girl will say, I want a nice guy who takes care of me, who's supportive, who uh, is, you know, always answers my text messages, she says good morning in, in the morning or something like that. That's, those are some of the answers that you'll hear from women. And they do, they do want a guy who does that, you know, helps around the house, not scared to, to do that sort of stuff. Okay, they, they do want that stuff. But really, what they want more than all of that is they want a guy they desire, okay? So when you see a girl say she, says she wants all of these things in a guy, and then she goes and fucks a guy who doesn't do any of those things, Okay? She's not saying that she doesn't like those qualities, but what she didn't tell you is that she's going to go for the guy she desires above all of those things. She's going to go for a guy who treats her like dirt 
and doesn't do any of that stuff, who she desires, who she really wants to sleep with, over a guy who possesses all of those qualities, a multitude of great things, um, but she doesn't desire, okay? So what you need to do is you need to look at men who have the qualities that they're going for, okay? And find the qualities within them that you can emulate, that you can, and some, so sometimes when guys get into this, and I did this the wrong way too, is I emulated all the bad qualities that they have, which they were succeeding despite, they were succeeding in spite of, okay? So pay attention to this channel. The qualities, the skills, everything that I talk about are the actual things that women are into. Okay, women are not into assholeness, but they are into assertiveness. So if you can emulate the things that she says she wants, well, don't emulate everything she says she wants, okay? What women say they want and what they actually want are, are kind of two different things. If you're bending over backwards to, to, to make her happy, okay, she's not gonna wanna sleep with you and she's gonna go for the guy that doesn't do that. So the important thing here is to not be always going for what women um, say they want. Um, but go for the things that they actually respond to, okay, that they actually desire, okay? You need to be a person who they desire first, and then on top of that, it'd be nice to have all those good qualities. So when you meet a girl that you're willing to do all that stuff for, you know, that's, that's great. That'll be a girl that'll probably be your girlfriend or, or someone like that, or maybe you'll see her for a long time if you're me. But in the end, you really shouldn't be paying attention to what women say they want. Even if they say they have a certain type, you know, I, I wouldn't even trust that. I have plenty of women who say they have a certain type and then they go date a completely different guy, okay? So you have to emulate certain things and find out what works for you. And above all, pay attention to what women do, not what they say, man. All right, if you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. I just had some spots open up in my coaching program if you wanna check below. Guys, again, I'm gonna be in Toronto uh, this weekend. On Friday, I'm giving a free talk, which is tomorrow. If you're interested in that, take a look at the link down below in my Facebook group, and I'd love to see you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.